addition and subtraction of rational expressions. Make sure that you watch our factoring techniques, our tutorial videos on multiplication of rational expressions, and also the division of rational expressions. Because addition and subtraction is a little bit harder than those topics. I will answer number one and two. Then your task is to answer number three and number four. Now, for number one, x over y plus y over x. We're going to add the two expressions. So addition and subtraction of rational expression is um, just like adding and subtracting fractions in your elementary math. So in adding and subtract, subtracting fractions, you need to find the LCD. So that is also our first step in addition and subtraction of rational expression. Find the LCD. So our LCD is, since our denominator is xy, so xy. Now, divide the LCD to the denominator of each term. xy divided by y, that is x. So x times x, that will give us x squared. Next, xy divided by x, that is y, times the numerator y, so y times y, that is y squared. So this will be our answer. x squared plus y squared all over xy. Easy, right? Now let's try number two. 5 over a cubed b plus 7 over a b squared. Let us find the LCD. LCD is... Since these are variables, so just copy the exponent or just copy the variable with the highest exponent. So for A, our highest exponent is 3. And for B, we have the square. That will be our LCD. Now divide. A cubed B squared divided by A cubed B. So A cubed will be cancelled out. So B squared divided by B. So the remaining is B. So B, we're going to multiply to our numerator, which is 5. Copy the plus sign. Next, we have A cubed B squared divided by A B squared. So, a cubed divided by a, that is a squared. b squared divided by b squared, that is 1. So, and now just copy 7. Okay. Now simplify b times 5, that is 5b. Plus a squared times 7, 7a squared. All over a cubed. This will be our final answer. So that is number one and number two. Now, your turn. Answer number three and number four. If you want to try, kindly pause the video. Then after answering, resume watching to check your answer. Okay, let's check number three. The same process with number two. So, and number one, let's find the LCD first. So, our coefficients are six and one. 
So high is 6. And for variable, just copy the variable with the highest exponent. For A, we have this squared. And for B, we have also a squared. Now, divide our LCD to the denominator of each term. 6A squared B squared divided by 6A squared B. So 6 divided by 6, that is 1. A squared divided by A squared, that is 1. Now, B squared divided by B, so we have B. And we're going to multiply that to our numerator, which is 5. Minus, in this case, 6 divided by 1, so we have 6. And for A, A squared divided by A, so we have A. And for B, B squared divided by B squared, that is 1. So, that's it. Times our numerator, 3. Simplify B times 5, so that is 5B. Negative 6 times 3, that is 18. Negative 18, then copy A. All over... 6a squared b squared. This is now our final answer. Maybe some of you will ask, Sir, can I cancel a and a? 18 and 6? Because they are divisible by 3? Of course, you cannot cancel a binomial to a monomial. Okay? Next. Number four. Are you done with number four? So we have three terms. So our LCD is our technique. Since this is a single variable, copy the variable, then find the highest exponent. In this case, we have three. Okay. So V cube. Now, V cubed divided by V cubed, that is 1. So, 1 times D, we only have D. Minus, V cubed divided by V, so we have V squared, times we have 1. Copy plus, V cubed divided by V squared, we have V, times our numerator, D squared. Now we have, copy the denominator, simplify d minus negative v squared times 1, v squared plus v times d squared, d squared. Okay. This is now our final answer d minus v squared plus d squared v all over v cubed. So that is the addition and subtraction of rational expression.